So camera control and tracing in light burns, what we're going to talk about today. And many of you are familiar with the tracing function in Lightburn, where you import an image, you trace it, and you turn it into a vector. But there's a way to do that with objects. And you've got to have a camera to do it. Now, some of you don't have a camera because maybe you believe that you need to get some fancy expensive camera or something from the manufacturer of your laser and you don't i've got here's a picture of my camera now this is a logitech c270 that was released in 2010 so i dug it out of a box and you can see it's just screwed and stapled to the inner lid of my homemade laser enclosure. So, if you have an old webcam laying around, you can use that. So, now the reason you might want to um, trace objects is uh, sometimes you do projects where you may want uh, carpenter tools or you may want mechanic tools or you may want kitchen utensils and you can trace those out so that's what we're going to do uh, let's go to the camera and it'll pop up in a second maybe there's the camera i'm going to click update and here we just have a wooden spoon now over on the uh, camera control side if you look at it now it's probably Fade it out like that. So, first thing you want to do is click the fade button off. And you want to set up uh, where you have some good contrast between the object you're scanning and uh, your background. So, we'll give this a try. The shadow uh, may give me a little trouble, so I may have to turn my overhead lights off. But, once it comes up, uh, you just go over to trace and click trace and the familiar pop-up uh, pops up uh, Then you can start working with the threshold or the cutoff uh, To see if you can you can get your spoon uh, The first thing you want to do here though is turn click on fade image that way you can see Your outline better. Let me see if I can get this a little larger without getting it behind my head there okay and just work with it and see what you can come up with and i think that'll be okay uh, so get a good outline and i don't know what all objects it will pick up but of course your background your lighting your contrast all that certainly has something to do with it and you can see it's picking up my laser bed as well, but that's okay. We'll get rid of that. Uh, so we're just going to click OK. And then back off a little bit and grab your trace. And there you go. Now, once you do that trace, everything is grouped. So just go up top, ungroup it, grab the portion you want. Pull it out. Make sure it's somewhere you can see it with a dark background. And then grab all of this and just hit the delete button. Then you can select your item and go down to the bottom in your art library. And if you don't have an art library, I'll put a link in the description and you can go make one. It's easy to do. Just a couple of steps. So you can import graphic from project. Uh, we'll just call it Spoon and click OK. And over here in the art library, there's our spoon. All right, so we're going to do something else as well. We're going to discard this, get a new one. Let's say someone you love draws a picture, uh, maybe of you, 
and uh, you want to save it. You don't want to lose it. If you just stick it up on the refrigerator, it may not be there one day when you walk by, so you want to save it. So, this is clearly a picture of me, and we're going to scan that. I'm just going to stick it in the, replace the spoon with it. Put it in there. And then we'll hit update overlay. And there I am. And then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, make sure your fade is turned off. You can get a clear picture. And then click trace. I'll make this a little larger. We've done a pretty good job this time. So, looks like maybe don't need to uh, to adjust anything. We'll fade it just to see. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to click OK. Do the same thing. Grab it in the center. Pull it off to the side. And then select. Ungroup. Pull myself out of here. Yeah, you'll lose them refrigerator pictures, so if you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, you can uh, you can save those. And I'm just going to put me over here in the uh, art library. And there I am right there. And you can save these things and uh, make somebody happy. And then turn them into, uh, turn them into a project. Now, this is not a new feature in Lightburn. It's been around for a while, but it's certainly a good twist on the traditional trace function. So I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe, share and comment. It's all appreciated. And by all means, ask questions. I don't know everything, but I'm willing to share what I do know. So you folks take care. Check back often for new videos, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.